Hey, so much healthy food should energize you, but there are some that may leave you feeling bloated and tired. Instead, joining us now is emergency nurse practitioner, Erin Tolbert. Good morning. Nice Good to morning. have you, Thanks friends. for having me. Okay, first up, whole grains. We always hear this is better to have with our sandwiches rather than white bread because it's going to fill us up. But what's the problem? Right. The problem is that whole grains contain a lot of fiber. And so if you're making the switch from white to wheat, you want to increase your fiber intake slowly. Otherwise, you can feel bloated and crampy. Another okay. trick is to drink enough water. And as a general rule, adults need to take their weight, divide by two, and you drink about that amount of water in fluid ounces per day. So okay, and that doesn't water. mean soda pop and, and sugary no. juices and no, coffee. No, unfortunately, <laughs> just water. water. Okay, uh, leafy greens. What's wrong with this? I thought raw greens were great for you. Yes, yes, raw greens are very good for you. They're packed with antioxidants that help fight cancer. The problem here is they contain a compound called raffinose, which is a type of sugar, and it's not digested very well by your body. It doesn't move through the digestion system. So steam your vegetables. It helps break down that compound so that your body can tolerate them more easily without causing bloating. Yeah, no, no gas and, yes. and all of that. I love the steamer for leafy greens. It's so easy. I do this at home all the time. And then you don't have to cook with the oil and exactly. you decrease the fat in your vegetables too. Exactly. In their true form. Okay, apples, they can cause bloating too. I had no idea. Yes, unfortunately, the combination of the fructose and the apple along with the fiber can really cause bloating. But we need all that good vitamin C, especially as flu and cold season is upon us. So enjoy an apple as a snack rather than part of a meal. And that helps your body digest it more efficiently so you avoid that bloating and that gas. I chipped a tooth on an apple not long ago. And my dentist said that if you use the kind that, that will cut it for you, you know, the apple core mm -hmm. that will cut it for you, that's better. And then you won't damage your teeth. Great tip. Great All right. tip. Next up, corn. Yes, and corn, Thanksgiving's coming. We're going to be eating a lot of corn. Corn, unfortunately, contains cellulose, and your body has a hard time breaking that down. It can lead to a lot of bloating, puffy feeling around the middle. So chew your corn thoroughly. That helps your body um, digest it a little bit more easily and also avoid the butter and salt that we put on there. Yeah. Instead, choose like a low-sodium seasoning blend that will help flavor your corn but also keep you from adding that fat and calories. Okay, yeah, we love cream corn down south, but yes. you got to keep the butter out of it, you say. Yes. All right, quick or oatmeal, um, any kind of oats, instant oats. What's the matter with that? I thought yeah. that was good too. Instant oatmeal can really be deceiving. A lot of brands have a lot of sugar and they're low in fiber. So choose a brand that has less than four grams of sugar per serving and at least three grams of fiber. Sometimes you might want to put fruits, nuts, instead of choosing the brands that are pre-flavored to avoid some of that sugar content. Um, and that really will keep your oatmeal healthy, get you the fiber you need. Also avoid that sugar crash later on in the day. Yeah, and it's kind of fun to put your own toppings on, whether it's almonds or cashews shoes or hazelnuts right, or right. Mix it up, keep it fresh, healthy. All right, Erin Tolbert, emergency nurse practitioner, thank you so much for your tips today. Thanks for having me.